Okay, I'm back. My phone died on me, so now I'm using my tablet. Okay, I have my ribbon. I'm getting ready to insert it, but the first thing I want to do is I want to fold over these ends. I just fold over just a little bit, and then I sew straight across here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. do the other end and I always double check to make sure that I do the um, right side that I'm supposed to and I am okay because sometimes this ribbon can fray and uh, you don't want to give this to a sweet little girl and then the ribbons are fraying and then it doesn't look pretty anymore Okay, let me cut my threads. <sighs> I have my lights on that I got from Target. They're really supposed to be Christmas lights, but they're pastel colors. I have them on in the windows. there. See? And that's what the top of my window looks like. <laughs> I like to decorate my sewing room. Okay, so now we need to get a straight pin. I mean not a straight pin, a safety pin. And we're going to put it in the ribbon and we're going to run it through. Now, I always have the front of the dress facing me. Okay, so you see the back right there? Whoops, another thread I didn't get. Make sure you snip all your threads. You don't want any threads. Okay, so I have the front of the dress facing me. I have... I have where I sewed the fold over and I'm going to insert it into the bias tape that I just sewed on and that's what it looks like when I'm inserting. Okay, It's really easy. All you have to do is just push the pin through. I'll make sure sometimes it gets twisted so I wanted to double check because it looked like it was getting ready to. I didn't want to pull it all through and then I had to take it back out and redo it again so. We're almost through. All we have to do next is sew that um, trim on and sew the band on the bottom of the dress and this will be done. Okay, good. Now, to make sure you get the ribbons even, I always fold it over like this and I'll meet the ends like that. Okay, and then I'll look at the ribbon and I see that this end is shorter so I need to pull it out just a little bit then I go back, I refold it like this, I check the ribbon, and this is and it's still a little too short, so let me pull it up just a tad more. Sometimes I add a button to the front, sometimes I don't, and I don't think I'm going to today because um, we're doing that trim on the bottom. You want to make sure that you have your ribbon um, even on both sides. And now they're even. So what I do is, I just sew a little line right here in the middle. That way it holds the, um, oh my cat just knocked over my basket. Mm. 
it holds the ribbon in. But they can still adjust it on the other ends. That part's done. All right, now the next thing we need to do is take pattern piece number two. side either. Okay. You hear my cat. My dog is in here too. My animals like to be with me when I'm sewing. Well, the dog, she likes to be with me wherever I am. It doesn't matter what room I'm in. She's got to be with me. She's a, a sweet little thing. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take them apart, and we're going to do right side to right side. So this is your right side, and this is your right side. Make sure we get them, yep. What I was about to tell you is, make sure that you get where the uh, inside of the um, pillowcase uh, is together. Okay, we're going to do the side seams. And this is such a small piece, I'm not going to um, um, pin it. All right, I've got my needle in. Let me get you turned around. I hope you can see the machine with this tablet of mine. Let's see here. I don't like using my tablet to film. Right, I think you can see okay. Alright, quarter inch just like the dress. Make sure you matched up your notches too. Back uh, stitch. I'm not going to cut my threads yet. I'll do that when I'm done. Alright, so we're going to do the other side. my threads and then we're going to do the overlock. Like we did on the dress. I also look for uh, fabric at yard sales and so I look for fabrics and pillowcases and sheets and all kinds of stuff at yard sales and thrift stores and whatever because these girls they don't care if the things are vintage or if they're brand new fabrics they don't care they don't care if it's sheets they don't care what it is they just like the fact that they have some pretty dresses they can wear so that's why I go to I take a few extra steps to make sure that the dress that I make is really pretty and that that little girl is going to enjoy wearing it. Alright, this got caught here. 
All right, now it's better. All right, now let me get my overlock stitch on. Get these other threads. Okay, now let me do the other side. My spool's about to run out of thread, and that's why it got caught. So when it gets like that, I have to um, pull some thread off of it. Oh. Come on. There we go. I just pull some thread off of it, and then it's okay. I try not to waste any thread because thread's expensive these days. It's like almost $4 for a spool of thread. <coughs> Hobby Lobby just had their threads on clearance like for $1.71 and I, and I stocked up. It's getting hard for me to talk. Went to the doctor yesterday and he thinks that all this coughing is coming from allergies, so... He gave me a prescription, and we'll see how it works. Okay, there you go. There's the overlock stitch. That's what it's supposed to look like. All right. So the next thing we're going to <coughs> excuse me for all this coughing. I'm not. I can't talk a lot, and because I'm going to start coughing. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this. Um, we're going to leave it just like this. Okay. This is the inside. All right. We still have the top of the dress like this. This is the outside of it, okay, which is called the right side. Okay, now on the bottom of the dress, you're going to see there's little notches. There's one there and one there. We're going to match those notches up with these notches here. That's why you made these notches. Okay, so we're going to put this inside, we're going to put this inside of the band. Okay, so let's see. Got to turn it right way. And I usually just shove the dress inside the band, just like this. You see how it's coming out the other end? Okay, now... No, wait a minute. I made a mistake. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, we're taking the dress. And here's the bottom. Okay, so we're going to shove it up inside because we need to have all these notches matching. Okay, so here's the inside. I mean, the the top of the dress, I'm sorry, and there's the band. See? Alright, now I'm going to match up these notches. I'm going to match up the notches and the side seams. Doesn't want to separate down at the bottom. Come on now. All right, now we got it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pin all this together, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have it all pinned up, ready to go. I have it, my sides all matched up. Okay, so now, oh, I forgot to change the presser feet. Put my regular presser foot in. Where did I lay that? There it is. Put it back on my straight stitch. 
Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to sew this together. Then after this, we're going to put that on. And it doesn't matter where you start on here. And also do a quarter inch. But um, after we're done with this, we're going to put that trim on. I forgot to switch my stitch. Okay, now I do what I need to do. All right. So now I'm doing the overlock. There you go. See? Okay, now. Now officially, the dress is done. But because I want to add that little extra something. And I just realized, maybe I'll do it on the bottom. Let's see what it's going to look like. Let me pull this out. See what it's going to look like on the bottom. It might look a lot prettier. Yeah, I think I like that better on the bottom. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to overlock my trim because it frays really bad. So that's why I'm going to overlock it first because I want to make sure it's, gonna, it's not going to um, come apart on me. need to change my foot, go back to my regular stitch, all right, we're going to put this on the bottom, so I always like to start on a seam. See where the seam is? That's where I like to start sewing. Let me put a pin in to get it started. So I can get it underneath the foot. Okay, let me get it underneath the machine. And then I'm going to get you turned around so you can see this. Okay. Get you turned around here. Mm, you can't see very well, can you? Alright. Let me see what I can do here. Maybe I can set you up on my thread stand. And you can see from the back. Let me see here what we can do. I think you can see. Okay. Alright. So. I have this. I have this to the edge. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't do my reset of my stitch. Okay. Now, we can get, get started. And this is the last of it, and then we'll be done. <gasps> I just broke my needle. Hold on. Be right back. Okay, I am almost to the end of sewing um, the trim on. I went ahead and got started after I put a new needle in. Let me trim these threads. Okay, let me go ahead and get to the end. And I'm just, like I said, I'm keeping the, um, as you can see, I'm keeping it on the edge. So I'm 
coming up on the end and I want to fold over a little bit so I'm going to cut um, this trim probably um, probably like an inch over and this I don't have to surge uh, on the other or over like the other side because I'm going to be folding it under alright so here we go slow because I'm trying to get over the thickness of the fold. And I'm going to back stitch. There we go. Now, I'm going to sew on the other uh, edge of the trim. That way I know that um, this trim will not fall off. to the end. I've got it to go a little bit slower because of that thickness of the fold. And there we go. Right, I'm going to turn you off and then I'll show you the end of the dress.